I'm talking about. It's called loaded bar in the Bible. It's a place of low degree. When you're down and you're down and out and you feel like everything's sinking around you, if you've ever been there, say amen. 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 Remember Emmanuel, in the midst of the pit, God is with you. In the midst of the sinking ship, God is with you, amen. Emmanuel. Oh, praise God, when you're stressed out and all oppressed and depressed, remember this, Emmanuel, God is with me. Why am I oppressed? Why am I depressed? Why am I letting the enemy get to me? Because I've got God Almighty within me, amen. I am full of the Holy Ghost and I'm full of power in Jesus Christ. His blood covered my sins. His blood covered my sin. I did last night. His blood covered my sin this morning, amen. And I'm blessed. <laughs> what the angel is tell, telling Mary, look what's about to happen to you. And Mary's like, wow, I'm troubled at this. You know, some are troubled at the supernatural call on their life. Every single one of us, children of God, have a call on our life. Yeah. It may not be behind a pulpit. It may be somewhere totally different. It may be doing something in your daily life, but we're all called to do something for the Lord. So many times when that call hits us, we get trouble. Anybody ever been troubled when you felt God talking to you? Mm -hmm. God talks to us even when we're heathen, y'all. Many people don't believe that. He was talking to Nebuchadnezzar. Wasn't he? He gave Nebuchadnezzar dreams. He was talking to Nicodemus in John chapter 3. Nicodemus wasn't saved yet. Nicodemus was a religious sad, from a Sanhedrin, a Pharisee, by well, a Sadducee, I believe. And what he did is he walked up in there and started talking to Jesus, and Jesus was talking to him, but he wasn't saved yet. So many Jesus is talking to to try to bring him to salvation, and it troubles him. Did you know? It does. And then when you come to salvation, when he starts delivering his calling to you, sometimes it's overwhelming. And you start realizing, wow. This is what you call little old me to do? Lord, I'm not equipped. <laughs> I have, you know, my vocabulary is limited. I came from Princeton. <laughs> I came from home. I went to a school and I barely graduated. I didn't go to college or seminary. Lord, my vocabulary is limited. How am I going to preach this message? So we're troubled. Like Mary, you can imagine, she's starting to get a message in her spirit and by the angel that she's going to have a son of glory. The king of kings is going to dwell within her. Can you imagine this being troubling a little bit? Like, well, what if I eat the wrong thing? You know, I don't know about being pregnant. You know, y'all women can, y'all can, uh, you know, dwell on that a little bit and see what all that comes to. But I can't tell you what everything that it implies being pregnant. But there's some things that women can do to hurt the baby. All these things could be going through her mind. I'm sure she was troubled at the supernatural fact that God was going to implant His seed into her supernaturally without knowing a man. You ever thought about that? Some of us are troubled at the fact that God still works supernatural power. No, He doesn't do that anymore. Yes, He does. I promise you God is the same. And Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And delivers. But she was troubled at the same, and the angel said unto her, Fear not. Because that is the main reason most of us are troubled right there. We fear and forget to trust God. Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. I'm telling you today, if we would learn to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. It says in Proverbs 3, 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. Commit your ways unto Him and He shall direct your path. Amen. It's a trust issue. Many times we fear the unknown. We fear what we don't understand. We fear sometimes what the natural we <coughs> cannot conceive or perceive that is happening in our lives. And it causes us to have anxiety many times. That is a big, big deal right now. Fear. Oh, but that's why the angel told Mary not to fear. Isaiah 41.10 says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. This is God talking now. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. You've got to know every Christian I'm talking to today, this morning, that God is with you. It doesn't matter what happens in the future. It doesn't matter what happens to your personal things at home or your family. God is still with you, amen. amen. Fear not if we just trust Him. Do you trust Him? Mary had to get this in her heart and mind and trust Almighty God because you know what would happen. Not only her espoused husband that's going to marry her would all of a sudden start questioning her. 
Surely you've been with somebody. You're pregnant. Now, all of us would. We all look at Joseph and say, well, Joseph, why would you question God? Like we're pious or something. But I guarantee you, if that happened in our life, we'd question it too. Well, what would you do a break? Now, Joseph had to die to self because self was telling him Mary's lying, Mary's lying because that's not natural. That's not normal. That don't happen. Mary's got to be lying. Who is the guy? I'll find him. Let me go seek him out. I don't know if I'm going to marry you anymore. Mm -hmm. you, you, just a nice crash, you use goods. Think about it. All these things go through your mind. Mary's uncomfortable trying to figure out, okay, how is this going to happen? She had to die to what? She had to die to self to carry the Savior. Because everybody, you know, this could cost her her life. Under the law, they would stone her to death. If it was allowed to happen by God, God didn't allow her to be stoned to death. But still, under the law, she could have been stoned to death. Did you know that? <laughs> and Joseph is having to make a decision here. And an angel has to actually minister to him and talk to him. And I guarantee you, if I was in that case, the angel would have to talk to me too. He'd have to do more to talk to me probably. He'd probably knock me on the ground. <laughs> Take a hammer. So, Daryl, wake up now. I'm telling you, this is of the Lord. Really? <laughs> Especially these days. Sometimes we don't accept or receive the supernatural power of God. No. When He does something in our lives, we say, well, we can contribute that to science. Mm -hmm. He heals us. Well, the doctor was pretty good about prescribing that medicine for us. And that's what healed us. And that's what got us through. We don't realize that it's Jesus Christ that is watching over us, that is upholding us with His right hand of righteousness. Amen. Amen. Think about it. Even if you find yourself in a hospital, how would you get there and how would the hospital get there? Jesus is the one who orchestrated even that out of mercy. But when we're healed many times, we give the credit to the doctor and not to Jesus. Because of the supernatural, our mindset, our natural mind has a hard time understanding it. She's sitting there trying to understand this. She's trying to listen to the angel. She's trying not to fear. And he says, Behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. And she knew that would be the Messiah of the world. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Stop right there for a minute. Do you know this is talking about the millennial reign? There's no way that the world was going to end on the 21st of this month. Anybody that knows the Word of God and knows the Bible at all, if you've been to church a few times, you ought to know that first of all, no man knows the day of the hour. Right. Second of all, we still got seven years of tribulation to go through and a thousand year millennial reign where Jesus rules from Jerusalem. 